Okay, let's learn something important. Magnetism isn't magnetism. Well, what the hell does that mean? Well, I'm going to very quickly show you what the hell I mean. Now, quantum mechanics, general relativity, and current science does not differentiate magnetism from magnetism, i.e. centripetal from centrifugal. Now, as I showed you in a prior video, using uh, this precision gyroscope with a brass flywheel, what happens when you place it on the centripetal center of a monster magnet? What happens that's radically different when you place it on the centrifugal edge? Now, if you take a Gauss meter and measure the center of it, and I'll bring it up here in a second again to show you what I'm talking about, the uh, Gaussian flux is almost identical from the dead center of that monster magnet to the edge of the peripheral of the centrifugal divergence. See, there's no branch of science that differentiates those two. Now, people will say, why, uh, I ask the question, uh, why is the gyroscope immediately halted at the centrifugal edge of the magnet? And people will say, well, that's Lenz law, that's eddy current. Well, not only is that wrong, it's a, only a description, it's not an explanation. Now, the very famous one, you can find a thousand videos on YouTube about this, is just a hollow copper tube. I'm going to take a uh, three-quarter inch neodymium iron boron magnet, drop it right through the tube it'll take forever essentially to drop through the copper tube and i say well that's lens law in action you could hear it falling boom eventually reaches the base okay so that's lens law well, that's eddy current okay now i can't demonstrate anything with that tiny little magnet although it's a rather large one so let's whip out the big one and let's differentiate the two so you think this is applicable to lens law i showed you in the prior video i'm not going to spin the gyroscope up again, you can see the prior video for me to show this, which I did over and over and over again, that uh, this 70% uh, roughly copper uh, brass flywheel, 70% uh, copper composition brass flywheel will spin nearly forever right at the point of centripetal convergence. Okay, we know that it'll break, especially if I place it at the edge of the centrifugal divergence of the toroidal divergence. Okay. Now, here's the point that you need to understand, and you don't get, and no branch of quantum mechanics gets, and no branch of science gets, and you say, well, the professor, what about the two types of magnetism? And I'll say, what the hell are you talking about? This is exactly what they say. I own every book on magnetism. I've debated these idiots for years. They don't know a damn thing that they're talking about. This is demonstrable. Check the prior video where I showed you the gyroscope spinning endlessly at the point of centripetal convergence and breaking immediately, nearly immediately, at the point of centrifugal di Well, that's eddy current. That's Lenz's laws of motion. Okay, so let me place it right here at the exact same. You get this? Listen to this part. You concentrating? The same point of Gaussian flux exists here as exists here. So I've got immediate breaking here and I've got no breaking here other than the friction from the bearings, of course. Eventually it'll spin down, even though it's a precision gyroscope. So, no breaking here, plenty of breaking here. So why don't you explain that with eddy currents? You can't do it! It can't be done! Well, we've got eddy currents, it's lens law. You place the gyroscope over there, it's mostly brass. I mean, excuse me, it's mostly copper. That's, uh, that's eddy current. Okay. A, that's wrong. And B, that's only a description. Children, give descriptions. Okay, there's a big fat thing. Well, what is it? I don't know. What's well, an elephant, little Timmy. Descriptions are not explanations. This is why science, quantum mechanics, relativity is stupid. It's a giant pile of dumb assholes. Okay, so I'm only able to demonstrate this using a monster magnet as you saw in the prior video. So, why don't you tell me the difference between this magnetism and this magnetism? Well, this isn't magnetism, right? What do you mean that's not magnetism? If I stick a Gauss meter right here, this is me giving the middle finger to quantum mechanics, by the way. This is the, the Gauss meter will measure the exact same flux density here as it will here. So, uh, what do you think is going on? Same here is same here. Totally radical, different interaction here than I have here. Right? Explanation. This is not magnetism here. What you're measuring here is flux density, which is the same with the Gauss meter as you measure over here, but this is point of inertia. Think of a tornado here. You've got to think of a torus here and a hyperboloid here. We've got Gaussian flux identical here to here, but this 
is really definitionally denotatively magnetism, but this is definitionally and denotatively inertia, actually increasing inertia. So what we have here is a force divergence like a fire hose coming out, and what we have here is analogously like a drain, you know, you pull the drain on your bathtub. So why don't you tell me, and you can ask any professor in the world, any asshole in quantum mechanics, the answer to this, and they will not have the answer for you. Because they think, well, a Gauss meter reads the same here as here. This magnetism, that's my... No, it's not. It's not. Well, this is one gigantic, $1,000 expensive, dangerous monster, man. Of course it's magnetism. No, it is not, you idiot. Well, sure, I can place a Gauss meter here and get the same flux density as I do here. Totally different. I showed you that in a prior video. What we have here is inertia and acceleration. What we have here is force and motion. So tell me again about eddy currents. Tell me again. Not only is it wrong, it's only a description. It's not an explanation. Descriptions are for children. Explanations are for the wise, of which there are very few in this world. Wisdom is the rarest commodity on earth. Okay? Well, that's magnetism. you got a giant magnet here. It's magnetic magnetism, and that's magnet. It's all magnetism. No, little Timmy. No, little Timmy. Everything in the world operates like a tether. Like a dog on a leash, everything operates in curved linear motion, and it ultimately accelerates. Okay, acceleration is the opposite of force. Accelerates to returning rest point inertia right here. That's why this gyroscope will sit here and spin endlessly here, but it will stop right here. Oh, yeah, the Gauss meter reads the same here as it does here. They should both be the same. They're not. They're not. Do you get that now? There's not a single professor on Earth that's ever going to explain that to you. They're never going to explain it. Well, you know, that guy's just in a tattooed asshole. He made a video on YouTube. I mean, you can't, you can't, you know, he's going to have a PhD and, uh... These are idiots, okay? It's okay not to know. What is not okay is for you to pretend that you know and mislead everybody else into thinking that you know what the hell you're talking about. Because you don't. Meaning these professors and these idiots. Well, he's got a PhD in quantum mechanics. He knows about magnetism. No, he doesn't. Supposedly the wisest mind on earth, who's dead now, Richard Feynman. He, there's a famous video on YouTube. It's all over YouTube. He's asked very blatantly, what's magnetism? He has no idea. He makes up an analogy about an old woman slipping on the ice. I mean, that was his explanation. The guy said, what's magnetism? No, no, he says, how do magnets work? And he, he goes on, he sits there and squirms in his chair like a frog on a hot plate. Boom. They don't know. But it's okay not to know. But why they suck, why they suck, is because they pretend to know. And this is what burns my ass, and this is what should burn your ass. Okay? Thank you for watching. Catch you later. Bye.